guys, this month I'm going to try and pare down my favourites to just the things that I've been really, really loving. Because I feel like in previous months I've kind of gotten in the habit of telling you the things that I've been using most, which is not necessarily the things that I've been loving. Um, and so I have only six products to show you this time. Um, and I'm not going to kind of do them in any kind of order because they don't go into categories or anything because there are only six of them. And I'm just going to start with this and it's the Sanctuary Body Souffle. It's the Cream Souffle is what it's called. And it smells amazing. You know what the Sanctuary stuff smells like, then you'll know what this smells like and it just is incredible. Um, the thing about this is I've had this, I don't know, have I had this for like a month and a half, two months? I use it all the time and you can see I've still got like a, a chunk of it left. But it lasts so long, I'm using it all the time. And you only need the tiniest, tiniest amount because it's whipped. In fact, I want to just show you the texture. Look at that. It's really strange. It's not like a regular kind of body butter or body cream at all. It's just... Oh, it's, it's whipped. So it's kind of air filled, um, which for one thing, I kind of thought, oh, well, this is going to last me like a week because the whole product is basically going to be only 50% of the top and the rest of it's going to be air. But because it's air whipped, it seems to kind of go further and... I don't know, I can't explain it. I wasn't expecting it to last very long. I did get it as a free product um, when I bought other products from the Sanctuary range and it's supposed to be like £10.50 maybe. Um, and at the time I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take this because it's free, but there's no way am I ever, ever going to repurchase it. However, it's very, very nice. and I think I probably will have to buy it again when it runs out. Next is a hair product and it's the Give Me Texture Dry Texturizing Spray from VO5 and that's this one. Um, and I've kind of used this off and on since I got it a few months ago. Um, in fact, it might have been Christmas time. Um, and I've used it kind of when I've got my wavy hair, I, I scrunch it and I use the other VO5 stuff, the Towels on the Spray, which I really like. Um, I use that and then I use this to kind of like rough it up a little bit once it's dry and give it that kind of dry texture spray look rather than um, kind of crispy looking waves. Um, but recently I've been using it on my straight hair. So for example, today I would kind of just spritz it a little bit and it gives it a little bit of texture and it just does a little bit more. Um, and it's also really great if I do leave my hair dry naturally and it just kind of enhances the messy waviness that I've already got. So I really like that. It doesn't dry out my hair at all. Whereas I feel like some of the other products from that range do. Because generally when it's trying to give you texture it is drying out your hair a little bit to give it that movement. So yeah, I do really recommend this and the whole range smells really, really nice. Don't recommend the shampoo and conditioner though, because that really did dry out my hair. Um, the next product is Cocoa Brown Tan. Have I mentioned this in a video yet? I feel like I haven't and I can't believe that I haven't. It was in my basket for last month's favourites and I just completely forgot about it. Um, but it's amazing. It's the best fake tan ever. In fact, it might warrant its own video. Um, I feel like I'm kind of coming towards the end of the summer. I found my absolute ultimate tan and I'm going to make a whole video on how I use it and stuff. And you guys are going to be like, but it's September. Um, but this is just amazing. It's the best fake tan. Just, it is. Um, if you like really, really dark fake tan, you're probably going to need to use it twice to get a really deep tan. Um, but if you're pale like me, the main issue that I have is streaks look so bad because it's, my skin is so pale, so if, if I have a streak, it's really, really pale skin, contrasting with the dark tan, so it just looks crazy. Plus, I don't like to look like a fake tan. People don't necessarily know. They kind of go, oh, like you look a little bit tan, but they don't say, wow, you fake tan. They don't, like, I don't look orange the next day. It's really subtle. Um, you can use it on for, a, you can leave it on for an hour. It does say one hour tan, and I can attest to that. It is a one hour tan. I did do a blog post where I look horrendous, um, the pictures of me are horrific, but I had to put them up because you can see the difference. I will now tend to use it for about two hours. I stand for an hour and then I lay on the floor on a towel. You know, that's generally what I do. Or on the bed if I'm feeling risky. Um, but after an hour you will get colour. It's just... It's awesome. I've never ever experienced any kind of streaking. I use a, a mitt um, rather than kind of my hands. Uh, but I've never experienced any kind of streaking. I don't see it disappearing. It just disappears kind of really really gradually I just it's so good I can't say enough about it which means I probably will have to give it its own video that's a little bit more coherent than this one um, but if you've used this please leave a comment below and tell everyone else how amazing it is and if you've used it and you didn't like it I really want to know why because I am not the best fake tanner I've never consecutively fake tanned kind of week 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 and I've been using this for the past few weeks and I've been tanning like every week that's bizarre. I never ever do that. I've never found a time that I like as much as that. So I would definitely recommend this. And I'm not being sponsored or paid in any way, although they did send me that. But I have already ordered one myself. So 
I 100% recommend that. I'm sorry that I've rambled so long because this was supposed to be a shorter favourites video and it's not at all, is it? Because I just rambled for like 10 minutes about fake tan. Moving on, because I have been more tanned, um, I decided to reach for this, which is um, the blot powder from MAC, but it's actually in medium dark. And this was one that Laws Beauty sent me. She's um, Lauren Baker here on YouTube. I will link her channel below. She sent me a package of things, and this was one of them. And I thought medium dark um, might not be best for me. And so when I did fake tan, and my obviously I want my face to kind of match the rest of me, I thought, hmm, I'll, I'll reach for that blotting powder, and it is amazing. I'm sorry, I know it's not a budget product, but this powder is the best powder I've used in my entire life. It has the best oil control, it's really finely milled, it reminds me a lot of the Naked powder from uh, Revlon, Nearly Naked, really really nice, that's also very very nice, but if you do have oil and you want to control it, this is amazing. And it's going to depend for me how long it lasts as to whether or not I would repurchase it, but because it is darker, there's something jungling around in there. Uh, because it is darker, I'm probably not going to be using this every single day. I will just use it while I'm tanning. And so, you know, when the winter sets in, I'll probably put this away until summer next year. But it's really, really nice. I, I use quite a lot of it to kind of buff it right into my skin. And I just don't touch up throughout the day. And that's unheard of. That plus my colour stay. Best combination for me I've ever, ever found. So, yeah. I'm really disappointed that it's MAC because it's going to be expensive, but um, if it does last, if it lasts me a couple of months, then I would repurchase it. But if it's kind of like once a month kind of deal, then that's that's more than I'm willing to part with. So yeah, I really like that, but I know it's it's on the expensive side. Um, the next thing is way, way, way at the other end of the spectrum. It's an MUA blush, and I've only actually been using it for about a week. I filmed um, a back to school tutorial, which you probably have only just seen. Mm, I don't know when I got things up, but. I've, I've been filming things kind of two weeks in advance, um, but I filmed a back to school tutorial and I used this and I just thought, wow, why am I not using this? I've obviously used it before um, to review it, but I had to kind of just put it away and not really thought about it. I'm wearing it today. It's very subtle, kind of little peachy pink like colour on my cheeks, but it's, it's a really, really nice blusher. It's cream to powder and it is creamy. You can see it on my finger that it is creamy, um, but it's just not shiny and it's... You can just blend it out and it looks really nice. I don't know how else to describe it because I don't like cream bl cream blushes. I have a MAC cream blush and I hate it because it's just like putting Vaseline on my cheeks. And if you have got oily skin, you don't like that. So if you've got oily skin, I would definitely recommend this. But just generally, this is a really good product. And the one that I have is called Dolly, is it called? It's called Dolly. Uh, and lastly, I want to talk about my nails. So this is going to get an honourable mention this month. Um, because it lasted so long. I painted my nails like a week and a half ago with this and you can see it's getting a little bit yellow and dingy looking now and it's starting to chip a little but that's amazing like for a white especially because they normally start to crack and they start to just see look a little bit less than perfect earlier than other nail polishes uh, but this is Essie Blanc it's the best white that I've ever ever found I'm tempted to do my nails again with it um, when I repaint them tonight but I am going out for a Barbie themed hem party at the weekend so I think I'm gonna have to go with some kind of Barbie pink I'm thinking maybe Pansy from Essie uh, but any suggestions for the ultimate Barbie pink are welcome um, and that's it that's everything I have in my favorites this month I hope you've enjoyed the video hope you didn't mind the rumble about the fake tan too much I hope I managed to edit it down and if I didn't then you know I just love it and I, I want you all to try it. If you're very dark or you like a very dark tan, you might not like it. But if you're pale like me, um, I've just so struggled to find a fake tan that works as well as that. And it's just, it's foolproof. I don't see how you can get it wrong because I have never got it wrong. I put it on my hands. You cannot see it. I kind of just like go like that on my hands. No detectable kind of line of when it starts and when it finishes. No orange around there. No orange on my, sh my shoulders. You don't really get orange on your shoulders, do you? Orange on my elbows is the word I was looking for, or my knees. It's just amazing. The only thing is because I shave my legs so often, like every day, and I know that's weird. Um, I shave my legs so often, my feet start to look orange compared to my legs. So I kind of have to exfoliate my feet <laughs> to make sure that it disappears at the same time as everything else. But for the rest of me, it just gradually fades away. You wouldn't believe it until you try it. So just try it. I think it's like seven pounds. Um, but I've used it four or five times and it still feels like there's at least one use in it, maybe two. So it's definitely, definitely worth the money. Anyway, enough, enough, enough about fake tan. That's everything for my favourites this month. I've also filmed um, a random favourites that's going to go on my vlog channel. So I will link that below and it will be at the end of the video as well. I will be talking about kind of 
everything else that I've liked this month that's non-beauty, um, kind of food and drink and TV and YouTubers, etc. And uh, that will be over on my vlog channel, which I have actually been vlogging every single day of the month in August. So you can go back and check over those vlogs. And yeah, I'm also going to be doing lots of other vlogs this month, including something called Kyla Talk. So look out for that and I will see you guys later. Bye. We've got these ones that are like three pronged, that are three kind of like jagged spike things. I hate those. Has to be proper pronged. This is my favourite fork. So I thought I would share with you my favourite fork.